Hello, Leo. How are you? <laughs> that sounded really like, hello, Leo. We meet again. Oh, because it sounds like Neo. You take the blue pill, you take the red pill. I don't know what's going on here. Hi, Leo. How are you? I need to remember to look over here instead of looking at myself, because otherwise it looks weird. Um, we're going to do a reading for what's going on for you in January. What am I doing? You might be feeling in a silly mood. January 2023, please, for our Leah counterparts. Por favor, señore, amigos, dios. Maybe some Spanish, I don't know. Or Mexican. What is going on, please, spirit, for our Leo Collective? I just love shuffling, you know? Um, for our Leo Collective, please, spirit, for 2023, give them a quick message. Thank you, spirit. Tell me to ring my bell. Okay. Boom. All right, spirit, can we get a very clear message, please, for Leo's for 2023, January, just for January. Ooh. Ooh, mm. interesting, very interesting. The uh, Four of Swords has flashed itself to me a couple of times. Can you get some more cards, please? Thank you for our... <coughs> oh, and it wants to come out. There it is. For our Leos, please. Can I have five more, four more cards, please? For Leo, four more cards for January 2023. I think that might be all of them. Let's have a little look. <laughs> la la la. I don't know what that is. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. It's going to be okay. <laughs> don't panic. Don't panic. Leo, don't panic. I just make faces. One more card, please. Oh, you fuckers. That's too many. God damn. All right, all right, I'll take them. I think these one to do. Is that up or in? Okay, take them all outside. Okay. All right, you got three spare cards. Fuck it. Let's do this. Okay, so. Mm. My candle is wanting to go out. It's like the littlest flame, tiny little flame. It's holding on for dear life, right? And I feel like it's a little bit like you. There's something, Leo, that you're holding on to with dear, <laughs> for dear life with, and the spirits are telling you, just let it go. What is going on with the voices today? <laughs> like, what do you mean today? It's like every fucking day. Just let it go, darling, let it go. Okay, so we're kicking off January with these two cards, okay? Uh, with these two cards. And the first one is the Eight of Cups. And the second one is the Six of Swords. Uh, energies they're asking me to do here. We have Air Signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We got Earth. We got Water. No fire. Mm, one fire. Okay, so maybe you are dealing with an Aquarius, a Leo, a Gemini. Or a Water Sign, a, a Scorpio. Uh, Pisces or Cancer. That's basically it. We've got a bit of Pentacles energy here. Earth signs. You're not representing much in this uh, in this reading, uh, Leo, which is an interesting one. You you are not here. You're not here. You are not present in your own month. And I feel like that is because you are giving all your energy to something that doesn't serve you. Particularly, particularly, specifically, what was I going to say? Let me just rub my camera. It seems a little, that's not the camera. <laughs> I'm rubbing the light thing. Is that better? Seems a bit hazy. Anyway, so <clears throat> there's something here in January that you are being advised to walk away from. Could be a job, could be a love situation. We have a thought, kind of like thoughts with, and a way of thinking. Uh, intellect, that sort of things with the swords um, and the water cups tend to be emotion. So I feel like there's something that you are emotionally attached to at the moment, Leo, that you need to let go. What is it? What is it? Let me know in the comments. What is this thing that you're thinking about letting go in January 2023? And you're being advised to walk away. Walk away. 
because then you will move into calmer waters. And this feels like a relationship to me. It does feel a bit like a relationship because we have this King of Pentacles energy in reverse. Um, and we have the Fool in reverse. So are you, have you been in a relationship that's been going on for too long that you know isn't working, but you're staying in it anyway? Because this is what it feels like. And it feels almost like you're staying with somebody possibly for material gain in some way, shape or form, you know? Um, I don't know, maybe you have a bank account together, there's finances, there's something you've bought together. <clears throat> Doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship either. I'm also hearing um, a, a, like an elder child who has not moved out, needs to move out. That's another situation as well here. So if you're, you know, a Leo and you need to move out, you need to gain this independence of your own, but you keep coming back because there's financial gain to be living in your daddy's house. Um, you are stunting your own growth is the, is the answer to this one. The fall in reverse, you are not taking a brave leap out into the unknown. And so you're actually very stagnant. And because you're stagnant, you're not actually growing. I'm gonna try, I've tried to make it lighter in here, but it's not, um, I've just got this thing over here and it's lighting the side of my head, but not lighting the cards. Um, thumbnail, no, I'm joking. Um, this, uh, this that you're not leaping forward into is stunting your growth. This is the empress. This is wealth, abundance, fertilization, uh, you know, nourishment, growth. Did I say that? All of those things. She's upturned because she's not sitting in her power. And I feel like, my loves, this is because you're holding on to something that isn't serving you. Okay, and you're being advised to be very intellectual and logical about the basis. They're telling me to look at the bottom of the pack. Yeah, Ace of Swords. There's the Sword of Truth. Okay, a new way of thinking, some courage, some movement into a different process. You're being encouraged to cut out of your life what does not serve you anymore. Take a moment to rest, retreat, and then remove. Ooh, rest, retreat, and remove. Good, it's good. And actually with this king, this king is very logical um, and he's very stoic. He's also very transformative. So if you move away from this situation that doesn't serve you, Leo, this will be a transformation period for you. And it may bring in a new offer of love, a young one, a youthful one, um, something that maybe enlightens your inner child. Who knows? But before you do that, before you get that, I'm afraid something's got to go, yeah? I often use this term, this uh, allegory. It looks gross, but it's kombucha. If you haven't tried it, try it. Um, good for your stomach. That might be something relevant for some of you guys having stomach problems. Get some, uh, get some natural cultures, yeah? Help yourself. I need to just kind of sit back, don't I? That's better. Okay, so this situation needs to be put to rest yeah we've had the four of swords and underneath it the three of swords heartbreak and the ten of swords something needs to go you need to be done with put the last final fucking sword in it and let it go because excuse me without doing that maybe anxiety and fear coming up little burps when you're reading something to do with anxiety and fear um so this thing is causing you heartache, heartbreak. It could be a relationship. Maybe you found out your partner cheated on you. Maybe you found out they're not the one for you. Maybe you cheated. It doesn't have to necessarily be like that. It could just be something that is causing you pain, suffering, unhappiness. It's time to let it go. Put that last sword in it. Because if you do, you are going to have abundance here. Yeah, this is this empress upturn you know this upside down empress energy she has righted herself and she's come into full fruition yeah and this bitch is single <laughs> yeah this bitch is single doing her thing so if you've got somebody that you know isn't right or you've got a situation that isn't right you're living in your parents house something like that it is time to let it go let it go what is that accent? What am I doing, Laurie? You're going to be offensive. Behave. I'm <laughs> sorry. Oh, God. Okay, so we have fast communication coming in here. A reunion, the King of Cups, and then wealth enough to give, which is some interesting energy, I gotta say. 
Um, yeah, and then the Sword of Truth on the bottom of the pack, which I just dropped on the floor. They're like, don't forget the Sword of Truth. So I think sometimes like when we, when we kind of communicate our truth and we're genuine, and I think 2023 is like the age of authenticity, 10, 11, as I say that. People just don't want this fucking inauthentic bullshit anymore. You know, my dad, my dad told me off the day for swearing on my channel and I was like, dad, you're in wrong generation, mate. Nobody gives a shit anymore. People, people prefer it when you're just being yourself in this age of inauthenticity when everybody's fake that like, like authenticity is like a salve to the soul. Why was I talking about that? What has that got to do with anything? Anyway, the point is be your true self. And when you do be your true self, blessings will come in. But first you've got to know who you actually are, yeah? Bit of gnosis, bit of going within and knowing thyself is a really important thing to do. So maybe that rest and retreat, that four, you know, that four of swords that came out there after the realization that you're holding and stunting your own growth. Take a moment to think about what it is that you actually want to do. What is it you want to become? Who is it you want to become? Because there's, there's fast movement coming here towards the end of January and towards the end of January, once you have gotten rid of the situation that isn't serving you anymore, actually you're going to find a lot of joy, abundance, there's going to be communication coming in. This might just be from your higher self because this is the only bloody you know, um, fire card that's here in this whole reading. So I feel like this is you coming back to your truth. This is you coming back to actually what you've got saying and going on in your head. And I feel like you've been ignoring it for a little bit long, Leo. So it's time for you to do that. And actually maybe this reunion card is a reunion with yourself, a reunion with your truth, not a reunion with anybody else, which is fucking beautiful. And I feel like when you do that, mm, yes, when you do that, you are going to become the King Cups. So the question here is, Leo, what emotions are you running from? What part of you have you locked in a box and pretended doesn't exist? Yeah, Leo's are very passionate. Leo's are very uh, excitable, can be quite kind of narcissistic, but in a nice way, if you know what I mean, like very sort of looking after themselves, caring about themselves, not narcissistic, so like narcissistic personality disorder. Um, very lively, very proud, all of these quite sort of like a, a gregarious, um, self grand grandiose sort of things, you know? But there's something here that you're hiding from yourself. And uh, it's funny because I feel like this is something that you've got that you've got enough of to give to other people. And if you get this reunion with yourself, you'll come into abundance. So what is this part of you that you're hiding from? That's the question. I feel like it's almost love. I almost feel like you're scared to love a little bit here. You know, I feel like maybe there was a heartbreak and you've just kind of closed yourself off. But remember, Leo, that when you put up a wall to protect yourself from people coming in, you're also stopping yourself from coming out. You know, put a door in there, yeah? Nine of Swords, as I say that, this staying up all night worrying about things, feeling a lot of torment. What is this thing that Leo is hiding from itself? Okay. Okay, an opportunity that you passed up, and this was something that was divinely guided. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> could have been a relationship, could have been a work offer, could have been something. My little flame here, bless it, is just desperately trying to hold on for dear life, but not quite. <laughs> um, and I feel like that's it. Something you're passionate about that you had a flame for, that you've allowed to grow dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. What is that? Yeah? That is the thing that God handed you. That was the gift that God handed you and you ignored it. You were far too busy looking at these three cups that you had in the material realm. And I'm feeling like this is something, maybe you went to university to do something and you were really passionate about it. And then you got a job doing something else, start making money somewhere else. And it's like, yeah, you're making money, but it's not your passion, you know? Or you broke up with somebody, your heart was broken, you kind of had a rebound. 
and you've been with that rebound and, and now you're just sort of staying with the rebound because well you, you're frightened of being single or you're living in your parents house and you know it's just easier living under your dad's roof your mum's roof without having to go and do all of the other stuff you know the whole packing and moving and all of that stuff brings up feelings of fear and anxiety but this thing that you're ignoring is actually a victory for you and a key, I think, to the success that you're going to find in January. And I think, my darling, you need to be brave. Put your big girl panties on, yeah? Remove yourself from this internal prison that you've created for yourself and step bravely into the role of the magician. Did I drop there? The moon, yeah? Stuff you're hiding from yourself, all this stuff that's lurking underneath, underneath in your mind because you think, I don't know, that dreams happen to other people, you know, you've got to be sensible, all this stuff. But there's an ace of wands here, which is, which is passion. There's something coming in here, <clears throat> getting a throat chakra thing. Maybe, again, you're not speaking your truth. So what is it you're not speaking your truth about? Because if you speak your truth about this thing, yeah, you bring these secrets to light, you will step into the power of the magician. And this will bring in a new passionate beginning for you. What is this? Okay. <laughs> What is this new passionate beginning? Balance in your life, yeah? Balance, um, money, mm, balance. Mm, what else can I say? <laughs> what is this opportunity that they're coming in in January for the Leos, please? If they choose themselves, if they follow their truth. Oh my gosh. Leo's follow their truth, what will be this opportunity? Okay, okay, so it's gonna be a tower moment. So it is something that needs to be cleared out of your life. And I keep saying the nine of the, the, the nine of uh, swords there. So it's, it's something that, um, <laughs> the tower card and underneath the tower card is a death card. <laughs> Temperance, balance, this is it. There's something in your life you need to let go of and it needs to be alchemized. You know, the temperance is about turning things into different, you know, in different ways. And it's partly something that you're keeping yourself locked in, in your mind. You know, a mindset, a place, this sort of, not necessarily a physical prison, but certainly a mental prison that you're holding yourself in here. And it's like, I always say, if you don't want to push, if you don't jump, you're going to be pushed. And it's better to jump if I were you. So if you've got a, a intuition about something that's not right, fuck, that just went in the candle, okay? And you put the candle out. So this is this page of pentacles energy. So this is being too worried, I think, maybe a little bit about money and having fears about money and resources. Um, so Leo, I think you need to come back to your true self in January. What is it that you're lying to yourself about? Whatever that thing is, that thing that you know you need to let go of, let go of it, okay? What's meant for you will not pass you by, so that's one thing. If you're worried about, oh, what if it never comes back again? If it's yours, it's coming back. If there's something that you've given up for a more stable endeavor, rethink your actions, because that thing that you actually, that fulfilled your passion, that thing that really lit a fire in you, was something that was quite positive, yeah? Uh, and it lit a fire in you for a reason. So maybe you should have a little think about doing that again. And were the reasons why you gave that up legitimate? If you're living somewhere that you don't want to live anymore, move. If you're in a relationship that doesn't serve you anymore, leave. Yeah, if there's something you want to do that you're not doing, do it. Okay, it's <laughs> a lot, sorry. Okay, anything else, please, Spirit? Personal, uh, personal issue reaches resolution. This is something that you've been refusing to let go of for a while. This card came out, it was in the reverse, but they're asking you to be bold and make the first move. What is this thing that isn't serving you? Stop walking around waiting for somebody else to fix your life for you, Leo. Nobody's going to do it. Nobody's coming, Leo. Nobody's coming to rescue you. So put your big girl or your big boy or big they panties on. Yep, I included the days. <laughs> okay, the answers you need are coming. Oh, what's this one? Thank you. And luck is on your side. New romantic cycle begins. Luck is on your side. Justice, Libra, Sagittarius, Gemini, Cancer. Got some signs here. Take, take, have faith. Step blindly, happily. Fortune favours the brave. What should we have the title of this for? I don't know. We'll find out. Good luck, Leo. I hope you enjoy your January 2023. Happy New Year. Mm. I'll see you for February. Bye.